This is Russ Buecher from Control My Nikon, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use Flash within Control My Nikon. Now, Control My Nikon supports the controlling of the internal flash only. So, you can control the TTL or the manual power or commander mode of the internal flash. Nikon does not permit through tethering the control of a flash mounted in the hot shoe. So if you have maybe an SB800 or an SB900 in the hot shoe, you're going to have to use the menu on the actual flash to set it up. And you won't be able to set it in control of Nikon. So it's a little bit limiting, but uh, let's give it a try and see how we would set up the internal flash. Now, when we are in control of Nikon, and I'm connected with a D7000 on Windows 7 64-bit here. Initially, I could see that my flash is set up in TTL mode, but this is all grayed out. I can't change anything. So what I'll do is I'm just gonna press the button on the side of the camera near the flash. That's the one that pops up your flash. So as soon as you do that, this becomes enabled. And now you can click on this, and you can see you have three options here. We can go TTL and Command and Manual. And uh, if you were in TTL here, you can set the flash power manual same thing and command gives you a lot more options here and so this is almost more useful for the internal flash what you can do here is turn the built-in flash power basically off so it doesn't contribute towards the exposure however it will still transmit uh, to group a and group b any uh, power settings that you might need so on each one of these you could set it to aa or manual or just turn it off completely. So I'm going to leave this the TTL, that the TTL, and you can also change a channel. So this is useful. There's other photographers around, also using Commander mode. Now we'll just leave it right there. I'm going to bring up the image browser, and we'll take a shot. So uh, we could go to my images folder. And uh, let's take a shot here on TTL with the power setting, basically set at zero. And I'm going to bring up Live View first of all and show you that uh, we have this scene. And uh, we're going to take a shot of it. Because it was in TTL mode, it did some pre flashes and uh, attempted to come up with the correct exposure, and there's our result. Now if I increase the power, and take a shot, you can see it's brighter, and you can darken it up as well. Okay. Yeah, let's go to manual mode. And I'll try a shot with a power 110. Very bright. We'll back it off to 1 100. And now a lot darker. You can use a commander mode to control slaves on this particular channel and in group A and group B. If you want to go for more groups than that, then you need to use a hot shoe mounted flash like an SB800 or an SB900. Now when you're done using flash, if you were to just push the flash down on the camera body, you could see how this disables and you can't adjust it anymore until you pop it back up. So that's it. That's how you use flash in Control Icon. Happy tethering.